welcome back Trudy, who was back from a sunny European holiday oh, with tips stop. for us to get the glow that you got via holiday, but we can get that in a fake way. You can. It's called highlighting. Excellent. It's so exciting. Excellent. <laughs> so we're lacking that sunshine glow right now, aren't we? So, you know, what do we do? Yeah. Look, I think we are, and our skin looks a bit pale. And actually, in saying that, when you get back from holiday, you want to keep that glow. As long so as possible. Highlighting does that. Essentially, what highlighting does is it adds light, or I call it life, to your face. Good, okay, well I need an awful lot of that right yeah, now. Yeah, and this is a good example of it. This looks a bit greasy, but it's not. It's just that beautiful light that you can get where the sun would naturally hit your skin. Yeah, okay, I think there's only certain people that could get away with that Oh look. no, I, I think anyone can do it. It just needs to be strategically placed. Okay, so where do we start with highlighting versus contouring? Okay, well, like I said, highlighting is light, contouring is definition. So you need two products for that. You can't use the same product. So, I mean, and this is a great example of an older woman with just a little bit of highlighter on that apples of her cheek. She just looks gorgeous. Yeah, she does look beautiful. So search Instagram because there's so much inspiration on that. But so like I said, highlighting usually in uh, a bronzy or a gold or a peach or a pink with some shimmer to it. Um, contouring definition, a couple of shades darker than your natural skin tone and go for something matte. So with contouring you want to pick up on those hollows on the face like the cheeks and you know around the hairline, yeah. um, the jawline, whereas highlighting you want to bring forward that look of bone okay, structure. You can see her beautiful cheeks there. Yeah, yeah but just she's got really beautiful cheeks. She has but you know like a lot of women have beautiful cheeks. It's, you can have the most gorgeous looking cheekbones and you know be over 40. It's not it's not reserved for somebody they young. They don't suddenly collapse, do they? Yeah, which is where <laughs> makeup comes in. You know, that's why makeup is so clever. So powders and liquids and sticks, they're There's everywhere. There's so much going on. There's powders, liquids and sticks. Um, powders are good for the day. Powders are good for people who can't be bothered, who want to just buff it on and rush out the door. A stick is something that you would strategically place more around the cupid's bow or as a highlighter on top of the cheekbone. Um, inside the corner of the eye, just under the brow, or the brow bone is a really nice place to highlight mm -hmm. your, um, your face. Um, and they're convenient because they're usually a cream and a stick and you can just Swipe them on, blend them on with yeah. your fingers. Liquids are a little bit more complicated, but with a good brush, you can do anything. Okay, so are there anything? Is there anything age specific that we should be thinking about or using? Because you know, obviously. Yeah, I know what you're saying, and I think look, I'm saying. an over highlighter, and I've often looked in the rear vision mirror of the car and thought, no, too much, knock it back. But I think if you go for a halo rather than a disco ball, <laughs> is a good is a good tip. Um, and just be careful too, I think, of the colour that you choose. During the day, if the highlighter that you've chosen is quite white and pearly, yeah. it can look a bit much, but at night time, if you're going dimly lit to a restaurant and you want to use something pearly, it looks beautiful. So how would you choose? Like, what so I think going, keep your makeup a couple of shades lighter or darker than your skin tone, and you can't really get into any trouble. Getting a good brush is important. I use a foundation brush to use highlighter, which I'll explain, I bought one and I'll explain that later. And just buff it well, you know, make sure you just really buff it into the skin. Always put it on after the foundation as well. Okay. And what about, do you put your blush on first and you then you highlight little, it last? Yeah, a little bit of blush. Like do your foundation, put a little bit of blush as you would trying to get some contour on your skin and then add your highlighter on top of that. Dab, 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 dab. Less is more with those things. Okay. You know, you don't need that much, but... It Just makes a, a little bit, it makes it. Well, it makes you look like the sun has hit your face. You know, where those high points of your face are, where you it always naturally makes you feel better tan. too. You just, you just feel better. Right, Trudy, the, f the best part. Okay. I mean, I, I love having you here and your mind of information, but I want to know <laughs> about the know. products, you know. the okay. new stuff. So, look, this is clever 12 hour wear. It's called um, Aura Dew from Chisada. There's four shades. And it's just feel it. It's like a bouncy, soft, creamy. Ooh. It's a mix between a cream and a pearl. Now, exactly what you've done now is exactly what you do. You just put it on with your finger. You can put it on with a brush. <gasps> I, I use that as an eyeshadow on top of the cheeks, yeah. a little bit on the cupid's bow. It's gorgeous. I and use that an eyeshadow too. Great little travel size, that one. Nice. Um, Guerlain always surprise us with beautiful palettes and things. They're almost like a keepsake. Mm. Rather, they're like a trinket rather than a compact. Um, this one has got uh, rose and lilac pearl, holographic pearl in it. So that you would put just up here on the cheekbone. Okay. The decollete, we didn't talk about that. 
beautiful oh. having a bit of shimmer on your decollete if you're wearing a low top or a Do you use both of them? I mean, the Blend purple? them together okay. or you can use them separately. You put can them put them on with your brush, finger, on the cheekbone, on the eyes. The, that's a really great little okay. palette. Next. Um, Revlon have got a clever new little three of these. This one's rose quartz. It's, it's, called, it's called Color Stay this. Endless Glow Highlighter. This little doe um, foot applicator is a bit like a thumb. You know, you can just put a, pop it on and then blend it with your fingers. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Can you see, can you see my it, glowy hands? It's a yeah. cream, but it dries to a powder, so oh, it like lasts that. for ages. Mm -hmm. That's great on the brow bone. Oh. That's where I've been using that one. Um, Hourglass is a famous um, highlighting brand. This is I've just dented that one to oh, get in here, but anyway. Trudy. I know. This one's a rosy shade. There's four of those colours. Um, it's called Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. So like I said, swipe it on and go. What sort of people can wear rose? Is that a colour for everyone? That's quite good if you've got pale Skin. You know, sometimes a, a bronzer can look really orangey on pale yep. skin. That's a goodie for that, okay. for pale skin. And I really wanted to tell you about Tarte. This is a brand, eco chic brand, that I'm in love with. It's just launched at Sephora because Sephora's launched here in right. New Zealand. And this is their Amazonian clay highlighter. I love this. Brush. brush, isn't that gorgeous? It's called the Aqua Flash. So what do I do? Do I just, just like, how do I do a dab on, or do I just go that? Buff it on. Now I like a short stumpy brush for highlighting mm. rather than a big fluffy one because the big fl because these highlighters are pearly, the fluffy brush makes the that it go everywhere, whereas that's a little bit and more And what do you do? Do you do, do this or yeah, do you do this? Yeah, absolutely. I do a, a round sort of circular well, buffing motion. that's a pretty motion, gold. Oh, gorgeous. And it's just gorgeous anywhere. And that's um, eco green cosmetic. It's beautiful. Well, thank so, you for making this. Look, many and varied these options. Thank you for making this hand absolutely glow with summer goodness <laughs> today, Trudy. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, now, for more from Trudy, you can, and welcome back too, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.